guys welcome back to tech dose and in this video we will learn about the designing a stack with increment operation problem which is from lead code number 1381 and this is based on stack implementation and a design data structure problem let's now read the problem statement in this problem we need to design a stack that supports the increment operation on its elements we need to implement the custom stack uh, class where custom stack uh, will be a constructor where the maximum size of the stack is defined and then we have to implement the push operation where an element x is coming and we have to uh, input that into the stack and uh, if uh, the size already is equals to max size we cannot input it and and it is a condition of stack overflow uh, and then we have to implement the pop api where if we do not have any item in the stack then we will be returning minus one saying that stack underflow otherwise we will be removing the top of the stack then we have an increase api uh, where we will be passing k comma value and the k will tell you about uh, how many elements to be increased and the value will say about how much value should be increased okay so let's look at an example for better understanding in this case we need to implement the push pop and increase api in the push we will be pushing the element on the top of the stack and we have to always keep track of the stack overflow case in the pop we need to return what value is popped if there are no items in the stack then we have to return minus one for it in the increase api we will be given k that means we need to increase the value of the first k items of the stack and it will be increased by the val value okay and if the number of items are less than k then we will be incrementing all the items in the stack with the val fine uh, let's look at a dry run in this case you can basically implement it with the array or a linked list they both will have the same time complexity and same efficiency in array you can implement with the dynamic array possibly let's see a simple example so let's say a push operation is coming and i have taken an array so i will be pushing two into it and let's say the maximum size allowed is equals to four so i will be pushing two so this is my top pointer okay so when the push one comes you will be pushing one and the top pointer changes when the push 4 comes then 4 will be pushed and the top pointer changes when the increase for the first two items with the value 1 is coming then for the first two items that is 2 and 1 i will be adding 1 to it and this becomes 3 and this becomes 2 and then the pop api will remove this top item 4 and the top will change back and it will point to 2 and this 4 has to be returned in our uh, api so this is the problem and uh, i hope you understand that you need to implement it by array and linked list so let's go with the dynamic array implementation because it is easier i think to write now in this dry run i have taken a example where uh, we will be doing a lot of operations from left to right and then these top down operations and we will be implementing the push element pop and increase k comma value let's say our maximum size of the stack allowed is 4 and i'm tracking the current size of the stack in current size which is initially zero because the stack is empty let's take an array so let's say this is the dynamic array which do not have any element now the top pointer will be minus one in this case now if you are pushing two then first what happens is the current size will be checked against the max size are we having a stack overflow no current size is less than max size so i can push this two so you can push this two again uh, we have to increase the current size value by one when the push one is coming then again current size will be checked against max size and since current size is lower so you can push one and the current size will become two and do the same for this push four so four will be pushed and then the current size will become three now when the increase is coming for two items that means the first two items and uh, with a value of one this means that the first two items need to increase by value one since this is an array i can iterate from index zero simply from index zero to uh, index less than 2 and I can add on these values 1 so this becomes 3 and this becomes 2 fine after this when the pop API is coming then the pop will remove the top item 4 and it will return 4 as an answer after popping we need to decrease the current size by 1 and it becomes 2 now if the current size was already 0 then no item can be popped out and this is an underflow case we need to maintain that now let's see the next API which is about increasing the value of the first 4 items by 2 so how many items do we have currently we have only two items three and two with index zero and one so if you want to add a two value to the first four items we only have two items so if you have less number of items then uh, we will be incrementing for all of them okay and this becomes five and this becomes four by adding two value right so we need to run it for minimum of how many items you want to increment and comma 
uh, what is the size of the stack the minimum of these two will be taken now let's say the current uh, stack state is 5 comma 4 and i have current size as 2 now if push 5 is coming then 5 will be pushed and the size will be increased when push uh, 7 is coming 7 will be pushed and the size will be increased now when push 6 is coming uh, then the current size is already equals to max size so it cannot be pushed and hence we have to return a stack overflow that means uh, we will not be able to push this item right so this is the entire dry run if you look at the push operation we are just appending the item to the end of the dynamic array and this is order of one always when you look at the increase operation then we are uh, moving from uh, zero index to k index which will be in worst case n number of items that means max size and uh, that will be the time complexity order of max size i'm taking it to be order of n where n is the uh, max size for the pop operation we are just removing the back of the array item and the removing the back item from a dynamic array is order of one okay if there was any front item uh, to be removed then maybe i will not go for this i will go for a linked list operation right so the time complexity for all the apis is order of one for push and pop and order of n which is the max size uh, for the increase operation fine let's now look at the code implementation if you are someone who is looking to prepare for top product based company within a limited time of just three months then we have brought for you both the dsa and the system design live interview training program the most important feature of this program is you get a filtered and condensed structured curriculum in-depth discussion of all the topics and my guarantee of your understanding one-on-one -on -one guidance with me and live weekend classes to know more about the training you can whatsapp us on this given number this is the simple code for stack implementation we have to take the stack and this is the dynamic array vector and then the max size and the current size of the stack so this is the constructor call for the custom stack here i will be assigning the max size with the size which is defined and then the current size will start with zero now in the push api first we will check for the overflow case and then if it is not overflowing then i will push the item at the back of the array and increment the current size this is order of one then for the pop operation first i will see that uh, there is at least one item if there is no item then it will be an underflow case and uh, if there are items then i will be saving the top item in the top variable and removing the item from the top of the stack and decrementing the current size and returning whatever was saved from the top of the stack so this is also order of one when the increment call is uh, coming then i want to increment the first k items and add a value val to it so if you do not have k items then i will just run it for current size right so it will run from zero to less than minimum of k comma current size and i will be adding all the values to it so this is order of max size because you know that the uh, stack size will not grow beyond max size and i will take it to be n so let's say order of n right so this is the simple implementation of stack and i hope you were able to understand this if you have any doubt then please comment below and i'll try to help you as soon as possible like and share our video and subscribe to our channel in order to watch more of this programming video see you guys in the next video thank you